Hi, this is Jay Lewis, once more Web to Shortcuts. This time with the download and configuration of the Fire TV Stick Remote. The Fire TV Stick Remote is available for devices running iOS 7.0 or higher, Android devices running 4.0.3 or higher, and all fourth generation and later Fire tablets. I'd like to point out that it's very important to remember that for a better performance, your mobile device should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your Fire TV Stick is connected to. So, the first step is to download the app from your preferred app store. In this tutorial, I'll be using an Android cell phone. So look and click for the Google Play Store icon and search for the app Amazon Fire TV Remote. Select the app from the options, click install, and wait for the downloading and self-installation to be completed. Now exit Google Play. Now let's search for the Fire TV Remote app on your cell phone. Mostly link inside the app folder. And here it is. Now I want to create a shortcut to the home page for faster access. Just press and hold and select Add to Home. In some devices, you may need to drag to the option or to the page you want to be creating the shortcut. If you don't find your way to create a shortcut, then don't worry about it. It is not a biggie. Now click on the app to open it. Mine shows that I'm already signed in. Just to let you know that may be optional, so I'm going to sign now to show you. And as you can see, the app still show the Fire TV Stick that is online. But don't forget that for a better performance, your device need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the Fire TV Stick. If you can't see the Fire TV Stick, make sure it's plugged in and online. Alternatively, sign into your Amazon account to help the app discover devices registered to your account. Now you need to pair the remote with the Fire TV Stick. So click on the Fire TV device that you want to pair with and now input the 4 digit code that is displayed in the TV screen where the Fire TV device is connected to. And that was it. Now it's time to play with the behavior. Tap to select and swipe to navigate. Pretty much like the navigation wheel in the physical remote. So let's practice in front of the screen. This trammy wheel will give you the option for settings or to sleep mode. This three little square with a plus will preview the apps already installed and will let you execute them from the app itself. Kind of convenience if you are not in front of your Fire TV stick. Just remember, tap and hold and swipe to navigate up or down, right or left. The bottom buttons behave pretty much the same as the physical remote. You have a search keyboard, very convenient for some applications that we'll be using in other jailbreaking tutorials. And these three dashes here will help you configure different devices and will make it easier to switch between them, in case you have more than one Fire TV stick. And finally the microphone, just drag it down, grant permission for recording and do your search by voice if you like to. So let's say this app doesn't work for you for some reason and you want to uninstall. To uninstall the Fire TV Stick Remote app, look for the settings icon that may be by itself on the desktop or maybe inside a folder, mostly the app folder. I'm going to open the apps folder as I already have a shortcut on the taskbar. Now click on settings and look for the apps folder and click on it. Now look for the Amazon Fire TV icon and click on it. Here select uninstall. Wait a few seconds and that will be all. The app is gone. And this was all for the configuration of the Fire TV Stick Remote. Remember to help by sharing this video or leaving your ideas or suggestions in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and to come back for more.
here at the shortcuts or at the shortcuts.com goodbye